Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. And for this video, it's going to be the preview for you know the week one game versus the Cowboys, which I'm super excited about. You know, Giants football feels like it's finally back, and you know I I just I can't wait. You know, especially Cowboys prime time Sunday night game. It's going to be a real real fun one. And yeah, so this video I kind of just want to just you know preview the game, kind of you know kind of just you know give my thoughts, like a score prediction, and kind of you know matchups and all that good stuff. So let's get right into it. So yeah, I mean I think it's going to be a very close game. First off, you know I think. You know, the Cowboys did sweep us last year, but I think the games, they were close games. You know, we were, they didn't blow us out in either of the games. So I am, you know, I think we I think we did get better this offseason as well. So I am expecting us to, you know, pot, do better against the Cowboys this year. And since this is his home, you know, I'm hoping that, you know, maybe we can, you know, get a win, you know, and split them this season. But, yeah, I mean, I think I'm really excited, you know, for this game, like I said. In terms of, I think our offense, you know, I th I'm really excited to see what our offense is like. You know, especially with the you know addition of Darren Waller, I think he can really be a true number one option for us in the passing game, which is a huge game changer. Something we have not had, we haven't had since Odell, and I think he can, like I said, if he's you know can really change things, really gave you know give Daniel Jones that guy to throw the ball to. Like he needs you know he needs to complete a pass, just throw it to Darren Waller. You know he's going to be open. You know I think he can be a legit thousand yard wide receiver. You know I, maybe not wide receiver, he's a tight end, but you know number one option in the passing game. You guys know what I mean. Yeah, I'm really excited to see what he does, you know. Um, I am a little concerned about our offensive line, though. You know, I think we did, our offensive line just struggled against the Cowboys last year, especially in the home game last year we had with them. I, mean, I remember Evan Neal just got destroyed by DeMarcus Lawrence the whole entire game. You know, and Daniel Jones was running for his life. He had like 30, they had like 30 pressures as a team or something ridiculous like that. So I am interested to see how the offensive line does, you know, especially like Evan Neal, you know, John Michael Schmitz, you know, how are they looking? You know, is John Michael Schmitz, you know, very solid out the gate? And is Evan Neal, has he improved all? Because I think the improvement of Evan Neal is one of the biggest things this team needs to do, we need from this team this year. I think we really need to see Evan Neal take a step. Because if Evan Neal does not take a step, and he's still struggling mightily this year, I think that's a really big cause for concern. You know, I'm hoping he takes that step. And which just, you know... I really want him to, you know, I'm hoping, let's hope, you know, he just does it this year. You know, he has a solid game against the Cowboys, because that's what really really what we need if we want to, you know, get better as a team and even win the game. I'm excited about that. I mean, I expect Daniel to just do what he does, you know, you know, kind of just take what the defense gives him, you know, run, use his legs a lot. He's not, I don't expect him to really be throwing bombs out there, because I, I personally, I just don't think Daniel Jones is that type of quarterback. I am hoping that, you know, maybe with, the addition, though, of people like Paris Campbell and Jalen Hyatt, maybe he does it a little bit more often, especially if they're wide open. Because I think Jalen Jalen Hyatt has the potential where, you know, he's can be open to any play. He, you know, it can be a one play touchdown with him just because his speed. You know, he's just that type of receiver. And hopefully, you know, Jalen Hyatt he develops the other aspects of his game as well, so he's not just not a deep threat. But at the same time, I think he's an important player. I think he really adds a layer to this offense that we just haven't had. And, yeah, I mean, I expect the passing game to be improved. Yeah, I think we're going to run the ball well just because I think it's what our bread and butter is in offense. With Daniel and Saquon, I feel like we're just, you know, that's what we need to do. If you have those two players that are lead at running at their positions, you just got to run the ball a lot. So, instead, so I think offense, I think it's going to do pretty well. I think the Cowboys, yeah, have a solid defense. And, you know, I think, but I do think that we have the pieces on offense to really um, do well in this game offensively. I think we're going to do some amazing, you know, 30-point game, but I do think we can put up a very respectable amount, enough to win. So that's enough for kind of the offense. You know, defensively, um, I think we're going to do really well as well. I think, um, you know, I, I, do, I don't think Dak's the best. I'm, I'm going to have to see about Dak. You know, I think he had a little bit of a down year last year. It'll be interesting to see how he bounces back. You know, he, I mean, he can't lead the league in interceptions again for the Cowboys' sake. I mean, I wouldn't complain, obviously, but I think for their sake, they need Dak to play better. And I think Dak's going to want to come out and maybe, maybe prove something, to be honest. But at the same time, I think we have the defense to maybe make that ruin the party, you know, make that not the case. And I think the pass rush, I think this year for us, is going to be a lot improved. You know, I think Aziz is healthy, you know, Kayvon Thibodeau is healthy, and expect him to take a step. You know, I think we added we added depth in the defensive line, especially the interior. 
So that's only going to bode well for people like De- you know, Dexy Dexy, you know, people like Luna Williams. You're just going to allow them to even get more pressure on the quarterback. And, you know, with Wings, you know, scheming, you were going to blitz a lot. I know Tyler Smith is questionable to play for the Cowboys, so if he's out to, you know, one of their better offensive linemen, then that can really mean that we could eat. You know, the big boys in the middle, Dexter Lawrence, you know, Leonard Williams, I think they can eat. You know, they can go. And so I'm really excited for this game. I think the pass rush is going to do very well. Um, yeah, I am interested, though, to see how our cornerbacks do, particularly Deontay, Deontay Banks. You know, I think, you know, it's his, you know, going to be his first game, you know, first-round pick. He's going to be expected to play really well out the gate, I think. But I know cornerbacks, say sometimes cornerbacks, they aren't very good out the gate, you know. I don't think it's fair to put those Sauce Gardner expectations on him where he's a all-pro year one. You know, I just don't think that's fair to him at all. But at the same time, I think the Cowboys aren't the worst matchup. I mean, actually, I don't know. He's going to be probably guarding Brandon Cooks, who, you know, he is older, but he's still a good wide receiver. So I'm very interested in that matchup. I think it's going to be an interesting matchup. Brandon Cooks versus Deontay Banks. You know, who's going to be the better the matchup? Because I think whoever wins that matchup can really dictate the course of this game. You know, if we shut down... If we shut down Brandon Cooks, you know, that means really it's only going to be CeeDee Lamb. And I personally, I think, you know, Adore Jackson going to be able to keep CeeDee Lamb in check for the most part. You know, I don't think he's going to kill us. I don't think he's going to have some 120-yard, you know, two, three touchdown performance. Just because I think Adore Jackson can do good, going to do well enough to just contain him so he doesn't explode. And I think if Deanna Mace can do the same to Brandon Cooks, I think that's really good for our offense. And I do think, I mean, our defense, I mean, and I think their offense did get a little worse. I mean, I mean, they did lose, you know, they did lose Zeke, which, I mean, they lost, you know, Dalton Schultz. So those, those were some pretty key aspects of their offense last year. And I know I'm interested to see how Tony Pollard does. I know he did get injured, you know, against the Niners last year. I think maybe he may be a little, you know, slow out the gate just because of the injury he had against the Niners in the playoffs. But yeah, I think it's a lot of this is gonna be on Dak, and I'm just I don't know if Dak's gonna do good good enough. You know, I think he's gonna play all right, just because I think that's kind of how he is, just all right. But I don't think he's gonna enough to let them win. I think our defense is gonna be very solid. You know, I I think we won't give up an exorbitant amount of points, but I do think we can keep them in check enough. And yeah, so like that being said, I mean I am one thing I am concerned though, concerned about our special teams. I, I don't think our special teams is good at all. I think we can maybe, you know, give up, you know, maybe an extra, you know, field goal or a touchdown just based off of, like, bad field positioning because, our, you know, our punt coverage team is awful or we just, like, even just have – they have a punt return for a touchdown or a kick return for a touchdown because our special teams is so bad. So I kind of do have some, like, bad feeling that our special teams is going to cost us some points or something. Yeah, but other than that, I am very confident about this game. I – be honest, I think the Giants are going to go out and get a 24-21 victory. You know, I mean, MetLife's going to be pumping. You know, it's week one. The team actually has somewhat high expectations for the first time in like a decade. So I am very excited for this Giants season. And I really I would want nothing more than to go out week one and beat the Cowboys. You know, that just brings that just brings a smile to my face. You know, just thinking about beating the Cowboys week one. You know, nothing better than that. And anyways, um, I think that kind of wraps up my predictions, you know. I'd love to hear what y'all have to say in the comments. You know, what do you, what do you think is going to, who do you think is going to win? You know, what do you think the score prediction is going to be? I'd love to hear what y'all say that while you're down there. I would also love it if you liked and subscribed as well. That means a lot, you know, trying to grow this channel. Anyways, you know, thank y'all for watching. Have a blessed day.